Okay, welcome back. Uh, we have this puzzle now. So that's number one. That's number two. Huh. Ah, there we go. Aha! That was easy. Hmm? Rule 2, keep the lights on. Reload this shotgun. Oh. Here you go. I have no clue. Whoa. Well, this is not a dangerous one bit, is it? Oh, that was close. Just no. I thought I had the flares on, but I guess I got flash bangs. What was that? There you go. He's down. You're down. One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. Let me keep fighting the darkness. I need some more ammo. Hmm. Like a little bit more ammo, please. Yeah, I got the power back on. This way, young man. Follow me. Come, come. The pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. This way. We need to go. I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. I had such a crush on him. Such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. And then Tom started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. Which looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. No, oh, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my game, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me, or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt, knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it down. I curse you, Tom Sane. 
We are characters trapped in a story you have written, and none of us will survive to see the end. If the darkness isn't stopped, she'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me. In television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light, but the darkness stays with you. You sustain. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend! Aww. Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. Parkour, mate. Tuck and roll. At least I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. He does care about Barry. All that attitude saying I don't care about you, he cares about Barry. Oh, can I get out of here? Jeez. The world that room. Goddamn birds. Not the birds are still there. Well, I don't trust that tree. Are you kidding me? Last one is, last thing I want to do would be bounce on the tree while birds trying to attack me. Can you make a sound at least? Well, at least we made it to the helicopter. The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Also, the flames just went out. Magically, just went out, no reason. I'm pretty sure when in the cutscene, it was on fire. Barry! Barry! Hey, it's close. Well, there you go. You know when there you go. Entrance, Wake. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I knew you'd be all right. That? The flaming eye of Mordor? Uh, laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? 
Weaver will meet us at the dam. You're laughing about his eye, but hey, that thing is powerful. You wanted one. He's low key jealous. So you see the lady of the light spent years just putting his spy crates all around the place. That's kind of weird way to put it or write it. See, I don't know what parts he actually writes and most parts he it was real. Just stay here until morning, Al. Please. You see those lights? That's the elevator we need to take. What? Do you can't. I thought I saw something. What the hell is that thing? It's everywhere. Oh crap! There's more than one of them. Well, it's not really it everywhere. Like it's just very fast. Just can't really do anything until you get the light on. Just keep moving. See? See? Not that bad. The more annoying than bad. Was that it? Are we safe? That was wow. I think we're okay. Oh, should've I should have kept that gym membership. This is a bad idea. I know we're gonna regret this. Wait, Probably. call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. I think I hear something moving around. Most likely we're gonna regret it. Yep. Oh no! Oh no! They're shooting! They're coming! We have to hold them up! Oh, that's my fault I missed. I don't think they're gonna freeze. Yeah. Come on. There you go. It's almost here, Wake. Just hold on. I love how she's worried about me. She's like, oh, I can help myself. You can take care of him. Yep, coming. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wade? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas, Zane, seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, well, he was real. Let's be careful, okay? Be sure be careful the whole entire time. Okay, Wake, there's a button over there that opens the door. I think it's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. There you go. Well, thanks. Oh, oh, wait. What's going on? We can get to the dam through here. What's happening out there? You guys go ahead and find. 
find Weaver. She should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Okay, wait. Good luck. Don't get yourself killed. Ah, please be careful. I'll take good care of Barry, wait. You just look after yourself. Okay, bye, friends. One more. There you go. Down, boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh great, I had to make my way on the top. This is not gonna go so well. Okay, it's just me or the text is kind of weird. So you have the icon overtaking the number. Okay, I'm gonna attack like three different things here. What the? Calm down, game. Jesus. That was a bit too intense. There's nothing over there, right? No. Don't think anything is over there. Oh god, a spotlight. Fishing can be a hobby or a job. I was ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Thank you for staying still, guys. Hey, can I use this again? Thank you. There you go. There you go. Enough. You will go no further. Stop. Stop now. Just see one foot. You running, buddy? Oh, living there. No. Ah. Oh well. Ran out of steam. There you go. He needs more exercise.
Jesus. She's not happy. You made it. Well done. I'm glad I was wrong. It was a foolish chance to take. Don't worry about the noise. We're safe here. I have looked after the well lit room for many, many years now. There is no shadow in the well lit room. The power is fail safe, and all the balloons are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Right. There's an old army base at Raid Cove Point, north of here. It was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. Huh. <laughs> Uh, nobody's gonna fight you for it because it's your place. A salmon. Take it, and I won't need to worry about the room anymore because six and thirty-three and one eighteen need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath, and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. Wow. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Previously on Alan so Wood, I have to skip I wrote a that. horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane. Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. He left something behind to help me. The clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake. The clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. So guys, again, copyright. Music. It's a pain in the butt. about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Ugh. The sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. I wasn't sure I'd make it out there without some painkillers. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Okay. Part of this business. 
Al, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show! Ah, oh, come on, Bay. Selling author Alan Wake about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm gonna be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? God riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No. Nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. Yeah. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake, once more, do the face for a sin. And our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you. At least I'd been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Hey, honey. You want to watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspen or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah. You're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. <laughs> Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. OK, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave.
<laughs> Good luck, Al. See you later. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. That cow sounds sick. Basic. Well, at least the darkness can't get you. That's one positive thing. Hang on, what's this house all about? Why would they just put a random house here if you can't go in it? I guess you can't go in it. I feel like you just put a random house here. Guess I did. Just put a random house here. Again was a Carvex. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again. Getting <laughs> Wait. It was daytime just a second ago. Now she can turn in night time? God, how much power does she have? This is a nice car. Yeah. Oh, what's the beer? Uh. That's my time. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.